Hello friends, welcome to Joy of Life. So before we proceed with this episode, what I would like to tell you is that if you have not seen the system design introduction video, wherein we have discussed about the architecture of this mini project that we are building, I would highly recommend you to check the same. I will leave a link to the description as well so that you can click, check the same and then get back onto the video. In this tutorial, we are going to create a spring project using the spring initializer template and we are going to run it and check on a basic endpoint so this is just a very basic tutorial for the beginners who are trying to create their first application so the first step we are here at start.spring.io and we are going to use this in order to come up with the project so we are going to set up a maven project over here using java and the spring boot version we are going to use is 2.4.5 so this is our first service for the mini project that we are building. So we'll call this URL feeder service. So what we'll do in this project is we'll expose an endpoint wherein you can post a URL and uh, this URL will be eventually stored in the database. But in this tutorial, we are going to keep it very simple. We are just going to create the endpoint where we'll receive this URL and going to print it on the screen. That's all. So we are going to keep the group name as com.joyoflife, the artifact name is URL feeder service, same as the name and uh, put some description and over here we are going to modify the package name, uh, we'll keep the same name but in lowercase. So this will be our package and we want it as a jar and uh, we are using Java version 11. So the next thing is that we need to click on add dependencies over here and we will search for web and we'll add string web to our dependency list. So you can see here that our dependency has been added. So for now we are just going to work with spring web and later we'll manually add any other dependencies for that we might need. And once you click on this generate what will happen is you will download a zip file as you see over here. So I have copied the jar over here and um, next what we are going to do over here is to extract it. So once you extract, you'll get a folder which is your Java project, which the template behind has created it for you. So we are going to use IntelliJ over here. So once you are in IntelliJ, what you need to do is you just click on open and choose the folder that you have just downloaded and open the same. So it is in D drive, joy of life, workspace, URL, PDF service, and I'm going to click on OK. So as you see that the project is loading up over here. So here is the project structure as we see dot mvn is used by maven and then we have the pom file which is one of the important file for us and everything else is under the source over here. So you have the main and your test folder. So all your source code will go under main and the test will have your test code. So if you see the test code, you already have a test class over here. So a basic test uh, code has been added, but no test is there, right? And similarly, if we come to the main, we have the resources, all the properties file will go here and your static files. And you have already have your application properties, which is empty, which soon we'll be using. And inside Java, you have your main class over here, the URL feeder service application class, wherein you see a basic class with just the main method with a Spring Boot application notation and where you are starting up your Spring Boot, right? So this is the project. This is the project structure that you get. And apart from that, what you have is a POM file, which tells what are the dependencies that you have in your project. So for now, we have Spring Boot, starter web and spring boot starter test only and there is a single uh, plugin as you see over here it's a spring spring boot maven plugin right and you have all the things that you have provided yourself right the group id the artifacts the version the version is by default 0.0.1 .0 snapshot then the name and the description and all those things and we are using java 11 that also we have selected on the wizard right <coughs> So we'll add a basic endpoint and then later we will add the endpoint that we need for getting the URL, right? So what I'm going to do over here is to create a package under this. And uh, since these are my resources where well, my uh, API endpoints will be there. So I created a package called resources and I'm going to create a Java class inside it. We are uh, naming it URL resources. 
So here is the class and what we are going to do is we are going to annotate this class in the beginning. So since this will be our rest controller, so we'll add the annotation rest controller over here and uh, to, to check things are working fine or not, what we are going to do is we are going to add a get mapping and we are just going to add a very simple method which returns a string and the method name is ping. So when you probably call this method, what you get back is a pong. It's like a ping and pong right so that is all that is how you create your first api endpoint and we have not specified any mapping over here so let's uh, say that this is mapped to your ping right we are going to do next is run this java application that we have just seen so we are going to run the main method of it and you should soon see that uh, spring will come up and we'll have the logs flowing in from the terminal window it will be opened by itself and uh, we'll have the spring logo and all those things so yeah you can see that it has started running and uh, the application is coming up fast and uh, yeah it, it has been started so let's head over to a browser and check the endpoint you can see that we are getting a pong back so i'm opening the postman over here and we'll use postman going forward in order to get and check on all the responses and things like that and we'll add a new tab over here and what we'll do is we are going to put our method over here So this is the endpoint that we have created and let's do a send and you can see over here that we have received a pong and um, the response status is 200 okay so these are the headers response headers that we have so our application seems to be working fine in the local right so let's create the endpoint that we are looking for and um, let this ping be over here and what we are going to do is we are going to create a post mapping over here so i am not going to give any mapping so it will come to your root you under your root url itself so what we are going to do is we are going to send a response entity back over here and the type is void we are not sending any response back and what we are going to do is we are going to create a method called submit url and this method will take a url which we are going to deal with right so this url should be uh and this should be a part of our body So we'll add the request body annotation and saying that whatever we are receiving there is nothing but the URL, right? So what we are going to do over here is for now, we are just going to print whatever the URL that we are getting. So we will just print the URL. So after we do the do the print, what we are going to do is we are going to return a response entity dot okay dot build, which will create a response entity for me and it will return it back, right? So I have created the endpoint over here. So the next thing that we are going to do is to go over to the console and restart the application over here by clicking on this icon and once the application is up what we'll do is we'll use uh, our postman collection in order to create this request right so let me get rid of uh, ping and the, what we have done is a post mapping so we'll use a post and uh, with the post what we need to send is a body so we are going to put it as raw and we are going to set the body so over here I am just putting as over here and what we'll do is uh, let me get the screen below the console over here so that you can see over here. So we are going to send this request so we have a post request and we are sending and uh, you can see that it's been printed on the console of IntelliJ right. So whatever request you send over here is going to get printed on your console. So that's it from this tutorial. So do check out the next part wherein we'll be using a MySQL and we'll be storing the same. And we'll also do the containerization part. We'll deploy the application using Docker and uh, things like that. So either of the one will be the next episode. So stay tuned. And do subscribe and share with your friends and uh, be ready to contribute with me as and as in when we progress. And I, and I put this code in GitHub and share the link with you guys.